Let's turn our attention to uh, power and energy stored in the magnetic field of, mag of an inductor. You'll recall that when current is defined as flowing from the positive to negative reference voltage, then V is equal to L di dt. You'll also recall that power is equal to I times V. So if we can com combine those two, we get then power is equal to I times V, which is L di dt. Let's also point out that power is equal to the time rate of change of energy. So consider this expression for power. Notice that when the current is increasing, power will be positive. And there is energy being, a positive power means a positive energy, energy being delivered to the magnetic field of the inductor. As current is increasing, the magnetic field is expanding. When the current is decreasing, the derivative of the current will be negative, and power will be negative. At that point, we can think of the inductor as serving as a source to the circuit. The magnetic field is collapsing, and the energy that had been stored in the magnetic field is being delivered back to the circuit. Finally, when the current is constant, the derivative of the current is zero, and power is zero. If the power is, not, is zero, that means then that the energy is not changing. The B field is static, and whatever energy it took to establish that B field is remaining unchanged. Now, let's use this fact here that powers the time rate of change of the energy in the inductor to come up with an expression for the energy stored in the inductor. Rewriting this then, we have the change in energy per change in time is equal to L times I times di dt. Since we have differentials of, of t on both sides, we can multiply by dt, and we're left with the change in energy is equal to L, a constant, times the current, times the rate at which the current, not the rate, but times the change in current. So if we integrate both sides, this side over, er, over energy, and this side over current, we come up with the energy stored in an inductor is equal to L. Now the integral of I di is I squared over 2. So I squared over 2. Or rewriting it and explicitly pointing that it can be, in general it is, a function of energy. We have then, or a function of time. We have then that the energy in the inductor as a function of time is equal to one half times the inductance times the current as a function of time. We'll again point out that the form of this energy equation is very much like or is analogous to that of the formula one half mv squared, which gives us the kinetic energy in a moving mass. So kinetic energy in a moving mass, energy that is the result of moving charge, the forms of the formulas are uh, analogous.